Well, good evening from Jamaica Beach, Texas. Today's Thursday, October the 27th. And today I wanna to talk about caterpillars and butterflies and pollinators that you can attract to your garden. Now, I found this for the first time today. It is a giant swallowtail caterpillar and I could not be more excited. It is on my lemon tree. Now, I haven't had much luck raising lemons here in Jamaica Beach, whether it's weather or drought or just my incompetence raising lemons. I haven't had any luck, but you know what? Now I have giant swallowtail caterpillars all over this tree. You can see there's one there. There's one down on the end. There's two more up top. So I'm really happy about this crop of giant swallowtails that will be that will be hatching out in the next, you know, month or so. So love to raise plants that attract butterflies and caterpillars and beneficial insects. Now this is mealy cup sage. I grow Victoria Blue Salvia is the cultivar, and it is an absolute favorite of almost every um, variety of bee. Hummingbirds love it, butterflies love it, and it's just also just a wonderful flowering perennial. I planted these a little over a month ago, and as you can see, they are just flowering profusely. They have these beautiful purple spikes. They flower almost year round here in Jamaica Beach, which is zone 9B, and I have this kind of random white volunteer amongst all of the purple flowers, but fantastic flowering perennial. I grew all of these from seed, so it didn't cost much either. So highly recommended Victoria Blue Salvia, which is a cultivar of mealy cup sage. Now, another plant you can grow for butterflies in my area is passion vine. And as you can see, I've got a not so beautiful stand of passion vine here because the Gulf fritillary caterpillars have absolutely wiped it out. We've probably raised a hundred or more Gulf fritillary butterflies this year. So if, if, if they are in your region, be sure to plant some passion vine. You will absolutely love it. They are fun butterflies. They, they tend to fly around and frolic and just have a great time. In my opinion, they seem to be the happiest butterfly. I know we shouldn't anthropomorphize animals, but it sure feels like that to me. But anyway, grow some mealy cup sage, and this will attract bees and butterflies and other pollinators to your garden. Plus, it's just beautiful. You can cut these spikes as cut flowers, and you will be a big fan as much as I am. Anyway, that's an update from Jamaica Beach. Have a great evening.